hello sweet friends welcome back to my channel i hope that this video finds you doing amazing and i hope each and every one of you are doing very well today you guys i am super excited to be sharing with you some awesome farmhouse home decor diys that you can do for your home and i think you are absolutely gonna love these diys i am in love with them and i cannot wait to share them with you so without any further ado let's jump right in okay friends for this first diy i have here these little fences i got these at hobby lobby a while back and i never used them so i thought today is the perfect day to use them they come four in a pack and what i want to do is i want to hot glue them all together just like this and it's gonna create a box and keep in mind you do only have a little space to work with to glue it together so I am gonna do a couple extra things just to really ensure that it's nice and stable but for now I'm just gonna hot glue it so that it can make a box and then um, once that is done I am going to take some juice string and I am gonna wrap it around all of the corners so I'm just gonna take a long piece I'm gonna uh, put it under the corner of the fence and I am gonna continue wrapping until I think that it's nice and sturdy and then I am just going to put some hot glue to close it off and cut off the excess if any and that is really just going to ensure that the box is nice and stable and will not be going coming apart so then you would have to do that to all of your corners and i do the bottom row as well of the fence on all four corners just again because i want to make sure that it's really nice and stable so as you see me doing here really nice and simple i'm just wrapping the string just wrapping and wrapping and uh until the whole entire corner is filled with the string and just um hot glue it so it can be nice and closed and cut off the excess and you guys i think that this makes the fence look even more pretty that's just my opinion you can see it done there and i'm gonna do all of the other corners but i think it does make it look um nicer so now this is how it looks once it's done and i have this here which will become the bottom this was a dollar tree sign i just cut it down to the size and i painted it and fixed it up i thought you guys didn't need to see that it's just a coat of paint and for me to place it down to this so it can be the base of this i am going to take my pencil and i am going to drill some holes i am going to use the brown side but you can use whatever side you want, the white or brown. I'm just going to mark where I need to put the holes. And I am going to be attaching this using some string. Because if we were to hot glue it on, you would see a ton of hot glue excess. Because the fence is open all around. It has spots that are open because it is a fence. So I don't want it to look ugly and have all of that excess hot glue you know seeping in and out of the spaces and gaps between the fence so i'm just gonna drill holes on all four corners and then i am going to attach it using some string and i'm just gonna take that same juice string and i'm i'm going to place it up from under the from under the board as you see me doing here and then i am going to take it and wrap it around the corner the bottom corner not the top corner on the top of the fence but the bottom one and i am going to wrap it around a few times so that it's nice and stuck on there and then i'm just gonna give it a nice um bead of hot glue so that way it can be nice and closed off and i hope that makes sense you guys it is super easy and simple i promise but it just sounds more difficult because i am terrible at explaining things but you can see exactly what i'm doing here and i am just going to do that for all four corners now guys we did put that string through so now we have to tie it off in the bottom and i'm just gonna do a double knot and put a little bead of hot glue just to make sure that the knot doesn't come loose and then it is all nicely put together and nice and secured 
Now guys, I want to take some nautical rope and I want to hot glue it all around the rim of this little fence box just to hide any imperfections and just to make it look nice and finished. And I thought this did just that. I really love how it looked after I put it. So you can't really see it here, but you can see it just a little bit. I'm going to place some hot glue along the nautical rope and just press that down to the edges of the box. And guys, that's really all I do afterwards. I do place a little label that says Wildflowers of America. And I just got that from a pack of some scrapbook papers that you can find at Hobby Lobby. And I thought that was so perfect for it because this is a little mini garden. And I just took some plant pots and stuck some flowers in, which is super simple. And I just placed it inside of the box. And you guys, this is absolutely beautiful and I am obsessed. I am absolutely loving it. I think it is so pretty. And I do have here some Dollar Tree florals placed inside of the pots. But I really want to use this piece as an actual garden. So I am going to take um, these out and I am going to plant some actual flowers, you know, in their pots and place them in here. I think that would be super pretty and i think this is so beautiful let me know what you guys think you guys i am absolutely loving this one Alright friends, for this next DIY, I have here these little drawers or boxes that you can get from Dollar Tree. And they have a little um, plaque in the front so that way you can place a label or whatever. And I am going to put these three together and I'm just going to use some wood glue and some hot glue. And I am going to press them together nice and tight and I'm even going to add a little clip just so it can keep it nice and tight together. And this is going to create one whole piece so that way we can have a little stand or, you know, something like that. And then I am going to do that, you know, I'm going to hot glue and wood glue all three of them together. And once that is done, I am going to take some white paint and I am going to paint the bottom of this. But I am going to sand it down first because there's a bit of some sticker that doesn't want to come off. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to give it a nice coat of white paint. And I'm not going to paint it too perfect because this is farmhouse decor so it doesn't have to be perfect. So I am going to paint it. And then you guys, after I was feeling like the front or the top needed a little bit of something. So I took the same white paint and a smaller brush and I just painted the rim and edges of this piece as you see me doing here because I just thought that it would look nice um, with the bottom as well. And so I did that and I really love how it looks. And again, I didn't do it perfect. I did it so that it looks distressed and i really love it so as you can see it's absolutely not perfect and that is what i am going for for the farmhouse look and once we have all of the edges nice and painted i am going to take these tower tumbling blocks from dollar tree and i am going to give them a nice coat of white paint as well because we are going to use these as legs for the piece so once those are nice and painted and dried i am going to take some wood glue and some hot glue and i'm just going to glue them to all four corners of this piece just creating you know giving it some height and giving it a, um, some legs so it can create a stand 
and i absolutely love it you guys i love how it's turning out it looks really rustic and i love it and now you guys i also have this pack of scrapbook little different types of paper this was the pack that i was talking about for the first diy um the wildflowers little paper and i am gonna take some that we can place inside of the little metal frames and i'm just gonna place this for now because i do want to place um labels that say maybe coffee tea um other stuff like that so that way we can place you know our coffee pods in here tea bags and another and stuff like that so i think that would be really cute but for now i'm just going to use these little scrapbook papers and place them in because they do look really rustic and old so i like that for now and i'm just going to have to cut some down to size because they are a bit big and that's fine and then i just stick them down in there and you guys how pretty is this and i put some stuff in here to show you how i would like to style it and i think it looks absolutely beautiful and i just love it super simple but i really do love it let me know what you guys think and let me know if you would give this a try this was made using all dollar tree items so you cannot beat that and this would be a great addition to your kitchen so let me know what you guys think Alright friends, next up I have here this little wood plank that you can find at Dollar Tree and I am just going to give it a nice rough coat of some white paint just to the top. I'm not going to worry about the border, the edges around. I want that to stay natural and I am just going to paint that and not worry about if it's perfect because again I want it to look distressed. And then once that is nice and dry, I am going to go in with this pack of farmhouse stickers. I got these from Hobby Lobby and I am thinking about going with the little truck here. It says Farm Fresh and I do end up going with that one. So I just take it and place it in the center as much as possible. And then I am going to place a layer of Mod Podge on top just to make sure it's nice and secure. And you guys, this sticker is so cute and this pack of stickers is adorable. I really love Hobby Lobby stickers. They have such realistic looking stickers and they have a ton to choose from. So I do recommend you going over there to check out their stickers for stuff like this. It's just so simple to just place down and make a nice little piece. So now once I have that Mod Podge on there, I'm going to let that dry really well. And then I want to take this jute string and I want to hot glue it all around the edges of this piece, you know, just to give it a nice finished look and just to hide any imperfections as well and make it look even prettier. So I do that and I make sure that I just keep hot gluing all the way around and working into the grooves of the edges because they are curved. So you do want to make sure that the string is nice and flush to it. And then I am just going to follow that all the way around this little sign. And then this sign is complete. I do end up putting some uh, rub-on transfers of greenery they can get from Dollar Tree. And it looks absolutely beautiful, super simple and adorable. And I just added a sawtooth hanger in the back so you can hang it. And I absolutely love it. So simple and so farmhouse vibe and i really love it let me know what you think 
and that completes today's video my friends i hope that you enjoyed today's diys as much as i did making them for you let me know what you think of today's diys leave a comment down below and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up i would highly appreciate it and do consider hitting that subscribe button you know you want to be a part of the family and you guys thank you so much for watching i will see you all on the next one god bless bye